For months, it was silent. The most distant human-made object in history, Voyager 1, was drifting alone in the abyss, sending back nothing but gibberish. After 45 years of groundbreaking exploration, it seemed the journey had finally come to an end, until now. Suddenly, the signal returned, coherent, clear, impossible. And the data it brought with it has scientists stunned. And one Nobel Prize-winning physicist has issued a chilling warning, this changes everything. We may be looking at something that shouldn't exist. Join us on the enigmatic journey of why. As we delve into another mystery surrounding, Nobel winner warns, Voyager 1 just made an impossible discovery after 45 years, dot. What has Voyager 1 found at the edge of interstellar space, and why are some experts whispering that this may be the key to unlocking the greatest cosmic mystery of all? Stay with us, because this isn't just a space mission. This could be the first message from the unknown. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 was built to last a few years, maybe a decade. Instead, it has survived 45 years in the harshest environment imaginable. It flew past Jupiter, past Saturn, and then was flung outward by gravity into deep space beyond the pull of the planets. But what made this mission possible wasn't just brilliant engineering, it was a cosmic coincidence that happens once every 176 years. The planets were perfectly aligned, allowing engineers to slingshot Voyager from one world to another using gravity, conserving energy, and propelling it further and faster than ever imagined. They called it the Grand Tour, and it worked. Now, Voyager 1 is over 14 billion miles from Earth, traveling in a place where no human signal had ever reached before, until Voyager sent one back. And what it just sent makes no scientific sense. After months of corrupted data, something changed. Voyager 1 began transmitting readable information again. Only this time, the data wasn't just strange, it was impossible. Scientists detected unusual plasma fluctuations, shifts in magnetic fields, and an unexpected surge in particle density. But the most shocking part? These readings are not behaving like anything we've ever measured in interstellar space. One physicist said, it's like the spacecraft is no longer just outside the solar system. It's outside something else entirely. What's more, the orientation of cosmic rays, the direction of magnetic lines, they're all misaligned, as if Voyager 1 has crossed into a new kind of space. And no model of interstellar physics can yet explain what it's seeing. It's as if the rules of reality are changing. When Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause, the outer boundary of the sun's influence, it entered what scientists believed was empty interstellar space. But the data now shows that this region is anything but empty. Voyager is detecting turbulence, plasma waves, and charged particle storms that appear to have no consistent source. Worse yet, there are gravitational anomalies. The spacecraft seems to drift slightly, unexplainably, as if influenced by forces we can't detect. It's not being pulled by stars. It's not hitting asteroids. So what's causing this subtle but measurable motion? Some now believe Voyager has entered a transitional region, a liminal space between what we know and what lies beyond. A place where our laws of physics may no longer apply. For years, most of the scientific community remained cautious. They studied, observed, and debated. But now, a respected Nobel Prize winner in physics has made a rare, unsettling statement, Voyager 1 is detecting patterns that cannot be reconciled with our current models of the universe. We may be seeing evidence of another domain, another structure of space itself. He stopped short of calling it another dimension, but many are already wondering, could Voyager 1 be brushing up against the edge of something else entirely? A multiverse? A boundary of simulated space? Or even the outskirts of a cosmic construct we can't yet imagine? Among the new data, scientists discovered a rhythmic fluctuation, a pulse coming from a region Voyager 1 recently passed through. This signal isn't natural background noise. It's structured, timed, and repeating. Initially, it was dismissed as interference or a fault in the instruments. But the pattern was consistent, matching no known stellar phenomenon. 
It wasn't from a pulsar, not a quasar, and not from any known source of radiation. Then came the unsettling realization, the pulse seems to be reacting. In certain windows, it increased slightly after each of Voyager's data bursts, as if something out there was listening and responding. One of the engineers working on decoding Voyager's latest transmissions made a curious observation. When visualizing the magnetic field variations as a three-dimensional model over time, a shape began to emerge. It wasn't random. It wasn't noise. It looked like a spiral framework, repeated with near-perfect symmetry. Some now believe it may be a gravitational lattice, a cosmic grid beyond our current understanding. Others go further, suggesting it could be the signature of an artificial structure far outside our solar system, or even our universe. Either way, it has no precedent in astrophysics. And yet, Voyager 1 flew directly through it. Voyager 1's onboard systems have been acting erratically, but not in the way you'd expect from an aging spacecraft. Its internal orientation sensors have begun reporting conflicting positions simultaneously, as if the spacecraft exists in more than one coordinate space at once. Even more bizarre, its signal has shown tiny but measurable variations in transmission speed, suggesting it may be passing through regions where the fabric of spacetime is distorted. This isn't just instrument decay. Some scientists are now quietly proposing that Voyager may have entered a region of variable dimensional space. A concept theoretical physicists once confined to chalkboards and blackboards. Now it's real, and Voyager is right in the middle of it. When Voyager was launched, it was never intended to leave the solar system. Its main mission was to observe the gas giants and then simply drift. But now, over four decades later, it's doing something far more profound, revealing the true shape of reality itself. What started as a journey past the planets has become a voyage into the unknown architecture of the universe. And here's the irony, the spacecraft that carries the golden record, the message from humanity to the cosmos, may be the first to receive one in return. Voyager 1 was never meant to go this far. It was launched with 1970s technology, powered by less computing power than a digital watch, and aimed at planets we thought we understood. But now, 45 years later, it's sending back data that is forcing Nobel Prize-winning scientists to rethink the very nature of the universe. A pulse that behaves like a signal. A shape hidden in magnetic noise. Spatial glitches that suggest multiple realities. And a journey that now seems less like an escape from our solar system, and more like an encounter with something else. Something ancient. Something beyond physics. Something watching. The spacecraft meant to be our ambassador to the stars may have found the edge of reality, or worse, something on the other side of it. So now we ask, is Voyager 1 still exploring space? Or is it revealing that space as we thought we knew it has already ended? Let us know what you think in the comments. Has Voyager truly crossed into a new dimension of space, or are we just beginning to see the first signs that we were never alone in the universe? Thank you for joining us today on, Why? Let us know your opinions in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Keep waiting for another exciting Why? Adventure, and until then, stay curious and stay tuned. This is, Why? Signing off.